Hello, my name's Avril Townsend and welcome to the TNT Teaching and Learning YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about the use of mini whiteboards when questioning students in lesson. And if you've not watched our previous video on hinge questions, it might be useful to watch that um, prior to watching the rest of this video. So as I mentioned, mini whiteboards are absolutely fantastic for using for hinge questions. You get instant feedback from every child. You're able to see everybody's answer all in one go. It's good practice to do a little countdown so that you're ensuring that all students are responding and giving their own answer. If you don't do that, sometimes it allows students to copy off each other's answers. A lot of students are more willing to give answers if their answer is on a whiteboard because not other students can see their answers, particularly if all students are encouraged to space the front while you come conducting this exercise. If you're doing a larger exercise on a mini whiteboard, so you're asking them to use it to answer an exam question, for example, or a longer answer, the, the students are quite often more likely to complete the answer because if they make a mistake, they're able to wipe it out. It allows students to practice their answer and they can do drafts as well. And in mathematics or in science, in experiments, if they're doing a method, they can rearrange the order of the, the steps in that process. So if you've liked this video, please click the like button. And for updates on future videos, please subscribe by clicking below. Thank you.